This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Bingo, we're back. Woo! <laughs> 3 p.m. on a given Wednesday. Exciting show. So, I'm so happy that you're here. This is Al Damascus. <laughs> no, there you go again. All right, okay. I just corrected you. It says Al Dacascos. <laughs> I did that for your benefit. Yeah. All right, okay. okay. And Cody Easterbrook. Now, let me explain. Al is a stuntman. You know, look at him carefully. Let's look. Come in a little. You want yeah, to see, okay. you want to see what a stuntman looks like. Yeah, we look normal. I mean, you could be a stuntman, too. I mean, <laughs> anyone can be a stuntman. Thank man. you for saying anyone that. Anyone can do it. Anyone, anyone can, do, can it. do it, you know. I mean, yeah. And, and Cody is, uh, well, uh, he's, he runs uh, something called Entertainment Art Studios. Yeah, Entertainment Art Studios. I'm the director, and I'm also an actor, so I work to empower our local acting community. What are you acting in these days? Uh, currently, I'm hosting a show for NBC. It's called The Big Fun Crafty Show. It's a kids' crafting competition show. It airs weekdays on Universal Kids. So, All right. Well, wow, yeah. we got talent. And you've been in a lot of stunts. Yeah. So know. have I, but it's different kind of stunts. <laughs> well, you know, My wife tells me. Oh, oh, you've been a stuntman too she's then. A, you know, I, coming home late she's, at night, I do you stunt, in the head with a something band. Something like that, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Some stunts. I think that's what she's referring to. All right. The same kind. So how'd you get to be a stuntman? Uh, well, <coughs> actually, in a, in a martial arts, um, in a martial arts, you know, they always ask, and what the instructor's asking, hey, anybody come up, be my dummy, and I go up there and be the dummy and take the punch for it, you know, and get get kicked here, punch here, and everything, and later on, you just know that when your instructor's punching you, you kind of just move in or move out a little bit to just create the distance because you know that in real life, you know, my nose would be in the back of my head, you see? <laughs> so when that punch is coming in, you know, I'll just go ahead and move back and just, and just go with it. And he says, you know, I like this, having fun with it, you know? <laughs> and then I started choreographing uh, 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 martial arts uh, demonstrations in tournaments uh, and on television and things that way. Then, um, then uh, I lived in Europe for a while, and when I lived in Europe, I was involved with the, the, the film industry there, you know, doing the spaghetti westerns. Oh, yeah, Italy, in Italy, you know, yeah? In Italy, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, you know, it's, uh, and then, and then uh, doing uh, demonstrations at, at seminars and tournaments and then getting called in for television and movies, you know, just doing it. And I had fun um, also, you know, being the stunt person, uh, and, uh, but, you know, I had more fun coordinating. I mean, that was the fun part of it. Supervising <laughs> other stuntmen. Yeah. Let, yeah. let them get their nose broken, eh? Uh, well, you know, everything <laughs> is geared for safety. Yeah. You know? okay. Safety <laughs> is the prim primary thing. Uh, because nobody Ever get hurt now? Huh? Ever get hurt? Oh, yeah. I'm... Come here, feel my nose. Okay, you're going to feel that. Uh huh? Oh. You feel that? Oh. Okay. There's all and, kinds of bumps. one time, that was on this side. <laughs> okay? You see? So, so, you know. I vouch for Al. So, 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 what did so, it feel like? Tell the audiences at home what you just it, it was going in different directions. <laughs> oh. Yeah. personal nose. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, so, it's, it's like, you know, no more injuries. I, I know the type of injury you can have, you know, doing it, you know. And, and stunt is um, uh, exciting. But, you know, it's not only the martial arts. I mean, stunt covers all kinds of things. You've got... Like the one that we're doing over here, Stunt 101, basically concentrated to fight choreography and uh, martial arts type, you know. And if we have a pass the stage and people get interested in two other things, then we may go into Stunt 102, which would probably be high falls and fire techniques and things. Okay, like we that. got Just a flyer. Right? This flyer. I saw this flyer before. Can you talk about this flyer? Yeah, so this is what we are doing this coming Saturday, September 29th, 2018 mm -hmm. in Kaneohe. Mm -hmm. We're inviting the public out to come and join us for a stunt class with Sifu Al de Cascos. Yeah, you, you got it right this time. <laughs> no, we're very honored as Entertainment Artist Studios to have a world-renowned martial artist and stuntman and stunt coordinator. He's worked in the motion picture industry for years. His son is a famous... Uh, action adventure star Mark DeCosco. So we're very honored to have him to share with our students and share um, his skills and talent and really empower our local acting community. So what are you going to do in this program? Tell us. Tell us a little bit about it. <clears throat> well, the program actually is uh, teaching this person. Well, basically, when anybody comes in, if, if they've had no martial arts training or stunt work, you know, one of the most uh, 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 First thing on the line they, they got to do is, you know, they got to be in condition. They got to have at least some skills. And um, if they don't have the kind of skills for the martial arts, you know, one of it is to learn how to fall. 
because in almost any type of action, you know, whether you're going to be falling off a car, falling off a building, or somebody throwing you, you got to learn how to fall correctly without getting hurt. Yeah. Okay. Even a little fall can um, be dangerous. Even I mean, a person could get could get hurt just falling off six inches. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But so you no, know, we teach them how to fall forward, fall backwards, roll over, how to recover. What's the trick? Was that? What's the trick? There's a trick. Relax. Ah. And then basically, use your shoulders. Well, yeah, well, yeah. You want you want to land on your shoulders. Some people learn to land on their heads, which is the wrong way. And you know, some people and, land on their on their no, noses. Then, yeah, well, no, yeah. I, I've done that several times, you know, but it was all by mistake, you know. Um, um, uh, but you know, you learn through the experience, yeah. And you know, and uh, in rolling, you know, I mean, one of the secrets is keep your chin on your chest, you know. And just roll on your shoulders. A lot of people just just don't do it right, you know. And um, if you got any kind of skills in, in falling, you know, it normally comes because you've had gymnastics, um, you know, acrobatic, uh, and you know, like judo, jiu-jitsu, and, or wrestling. You know, these are the ones that would help a person out. As a matter of fact, most of the good stunt people come out on martial arts, gymnastics. So, and do I need to know martial arts to no. learn stunts? No. No, because, but it helps. Yeah, well, acting is also going to be very good, and that's where he comes in, okay? Because you know, it's a combination. Um, yeah, it is. It, it is. is. Yeah, Absolutely. because I'll, I'll show you the moves and everything, but then you know he'll he'll go ahead and show you the the, the facial expressions, the body language, eye movements, and everything, and how to stay. Wow, there's a lot of elements to this. There yeah, it is. It, it's got to be fun. You know, it, it's fun. I mean, you know, we we teach the uh, the person uh, that's uh, you know doing the techniques to make sure that he's always in frame and. Make sure that the camera is following him. You know, whether we go into, you know, wide, wide distance, close or Dutch angle or whatever. So the stuntman is almost like a director of the stunt, yeah. Well, because it's like a pilot. You look around the plane before you take off. So you're looking around the the stunt scene, making exactly. sure that it works for you. No? Exactly. Well, you know that too. We have to be able to. You see, the thing is, there got to be a reason that when you're putting a stunt together, especially stunt fighting, it got to be a reason why you're fighting. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. You know, you go out there with bah, 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 blank face, but if you know, if you have, uh, uh, you know, the intensity like maybe bam, somebody slapped me in the face. What? You wanna? Then you have a reason. You're scaring me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, because you have that intensity. You gotta you know? have the motivation, right? Yeah, right. It's and, just like acting. You're right. not gonna deliver lines unless there's a motivation right. for it. Right. You're so acting we, throughout the whole process. Uh, huh? Everything, you know. Everything. And some people even go home. You know, they even take the character home with them. You know, I've I've, I've done it a couple of times. You know, and just playing and walking all into the walls and pushing the walls and saying, "Well, I gotta stay in character," you know. But of course, of course, my girlfriend don't like that because you know that that, that don't work. You see what I mean? So, <laughs> Don't take your work home. No, 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 yeah. So, <laughs> so getting involved in that way, you know, it's, there's a lot of things people just don't understand. I mean, I, I had it one time when we were working with Slate, and, and uh, <laughs> the guy came inside, and the person was there, they go, back right on the nose, boom. I said, Mo, okay, man, pull back. You know, you got to learn how to stay away from the Slate and all that. So there's a lot of things that people just don't understand. And of course, the stuntman should have moved back a little bit, too. But he didn't. He just stayed there. Yeah, you know. he should have seen that coming. <laughs> That's part of it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, so it's fun. So what about the, the actor, and you hear about this all the time, Al, who says, I do my own stunts. <laughs> but do you agree with him? Is he, <clears throat> is he nuts or what? Well, there was only, a, you know, a few of them are really, really good. You know, uh, Tom Cruise does his own. Is that right? And, uh, um, and you have Jackie Chan and Jet Li and, you know, people like, of course, my son Mark, you know. But he they, does they, stunts, too. Oh, Oh, yes. I mean, everybody, you know, he does his own stunts. I mean, he, he learned it when, since he was three years old. Well, basically, any child that comes out of being born... So I want to be sure that he wasn't the one who taught you, that you were the one who taught him, right? No, I think he kind of taught me because, you know, as a child, when a child comes out, they already come out with the hands, close fists, yeah. and they already scream, ah, 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 like this, so right? came out punching him. Oh, he, he yeah, did, man. Yeah, I can remember that. You see, I mean, so it's almost... So innate. there's a necessity for you to become a stunt guy. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's basic self-defense in everybody. You know, it's an innate thing, you know? But, yeah, that's, yeah, well, we go from there. Yeah. So if I want to be a stunt man. Or if I want to be you, <laughs> being a stuntman, what do I do? I call up somebody in Hollywood? Or I call up Cody. That's what I do. I call up Cody. Yeah. You guys work <laughs> together in, in this mm. way, don't you? Huh? Absolutely. We work here in our local Hawaii market to empower our local actors to get cast and to be working. There's a tons of shows coming to our island, movies and TV shows. And the sad part is not a lot of our talent is getting used. So our goal is to 
prepare these actors, our local community, to be working in a competitive level. You know, myself, I don't consider myself a stuntman, but there are moments where you have to do stunt-like moves. You know, on Hawaii Five-O, I played a character called Luke Pakele, and I was a bull-riding Hawaiian cowboy <laughs> who was on the run from the cops. And so during this scene where they're chasing me, getting ready to take me down and hog-tie me, I had to run in cowboy boots on lava rock. Oh, That was a stunt. Uh, yeah, I had really? to train to actually pull that off and make it look convincing. Without so, hurting yourself. Without <laughs> falling overnight. Of course, I let the stuntman take the fall for me because he gets paid the good money for that. <laughs> but I did the running on the lava rock. So it's all a process. It's important for our local acting community to learn how their body works. Because acting is much more than just facial movements. It's much more than delivering lines. Acting is movement. It's motion. It's your body. Yeah. And so that's where Sifu Al comes in because he teaches us the proper way to take a hit, to take a fall, to throw a punch and, and make it believable and convincing. Yeah, what I'm getting out of this is if I went back to the movies of the 30s, 40s, 50s, I wouldn't see so many stunts because those movies were not as action as the movies today. They had so that. They, they, they had, had sometimes, yeah. yeah. They had it, yeah. I mean, but, think about Charlie Chaplin. He was such oh, physical humor, mm -hmm, physical comedy. Mm -hmm. Even before words came along, physical, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everything it was, physical. was physicality. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Charlie Chaplin was probably one of those first stunt guys taking he, falls he and did it himself. pies in the face and doing mm -hmm, other stuff. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that physicality has been there since the beginning. <laughs> and then you had Albert and Costello and the Three Stooges that came along. Physical all humor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Comedy stunts, you know. and. And during the, uh, the 1940s, uh, early 1960s or uh, 50s, you know, they were getting, uh, getting into the, the Western cowboys, you know, so everybody was playing cowboy and Indians, you know. So that's where the dangerous stunts come from. But one, I guess one of the best stunts you'll ever see is, uh, was it Hopper uh, with um, uh, Burt Reynolds? Yeah, you know, the, the stunt yeah. Driving? died Just recently, passed, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, Right, okay, it was really, really good, you know. And he then did his own stunts. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, you know, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, they, they all take bruises and everything because there's, there's not, you know, there's not, let's say that, my son just got off the set working with uh, Keanu Reeve, you know, on uh, 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 John Wick 3. Okay. And he showed me a picture of himself. He said, Dad, look at this, you know, he bought it from my waist up. Bruises here, bruises there, and everything I say. It's not just makeup either. No, 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 <laughs> because the, the thing is just that, uh, uh, Keanu Reeves is also a martial artist, so both of them are martial artists. And you know, in martial artists, if you don't hit me, you're not doing anything to me. So <laughs> come make it look real. And the fight scenes were real. You see, except and when you have uh, people that's not a martial artist, then naturally I think would, that would be stopped. It would like that. You wouldn't hit. You know, just just very close. You know, other than that. You know, uh, most of the guys would just go, bam, just that way. And they do it because for them, they have that agreement. You say, oh, you know, we're going to play it light, but we're going to make the context so I can respond the way it is. Because if you hit me and I don't respond, respond or if I overreact, it's not believable It takes two to tango. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's so interesting. So these days, you cannot have a decent movie without having decent stunts. Yeah. And everybody, including the people who are not stuntmen, have to understand about stunts. Yeah. Well, you know, I've seen a lot of good romantic comedy, you know, and a lot of uh, romantic films, and nobody's throwing any punches or anything, but, you know, the guy rushes out the building and bump, bumps into the wall. That's a stunt. Sure. You know, he, you know, he misses a step, he falls down, that's a stunt. He doesn't necessarily have to take a punch from anyone. Right. You know, it can be anything. Stunt can be anything. Yeah, it's true. It's acting. It's, you know, mm -hmm. And I'm thinking it's like, like practicing law. To practice law, address a jury, you, you, have, to, you have to be an actor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And if you're going to be an actor, you sure. have to understand about, you called it physicality. <coughs> mm -hmm. It's really acting is about physicality. Yeah. Yeah, it's about say. putting emphasis, you know, telling a story. You can tell it with your voice, you can tell it with your body, you can tell it with movement. So it all, it all goes hand in hand. Yeah. So, um, I, you know, I, I want to ask you about Hawaii. Um, you know, Hawaii doesn't have that much going on in terms of movie making. Uh, I want to see who I have a lot more going on in terms of movie making. Um, where does this fit, you know, in making Hawaii great again? <laughs> I hate to say that. <laughs> to steal a phrase. Well, you know, if we can develop really good stunt people, good martial artists that can build a good stunt team, you know, then it's not necessary for, for uh, the mainland ones to come in, you mm -hmm. know, because, I mean, they, we they, have them here. Yeah, they've got a lot of good talent. It's just that they're not exposed, you know, and... Um, and naturally, you know, if, if we have, you know, like with Cody and building this up and other groups that get in together, then we can build a, street, a, a really strong team for the Hawaiian community, you know, because, I mean, we have it. 
why do you think there's a lot of uh, good talent here going there? You know, they don't really want to go there. You know, if, they, if we can develop them here and bring it here, because I mean, Hawaii is just so natural. We've got everything in here, you know, uh, scenery and you know, the talent. We can do that, you know. So, you know, and, and to bring in some of the mainland people now and then, that's okay. You know, it's okay. But I think that developing the crew here as far as the directing, acting, producing, uh, talents and uh, stunts and everything, we have it. Do you agree, Cody? You know, I absolutely do agree. We have a wonderful indie market. There's a lot of short film festivals that come here. Ohina, there's, uh, we have the HIF, the Hawaii International Film Festival. We have a whole lot of productions that are coming here, and they utilize the scenery and the sights of Hawaii because it can double for any place on Earth. I mean, you look at some of the past productions that were here. When Lost was on island, they created Africa here. They created London here. Anywhere, South America, Asia, you can produce it right here in Hawaii. So we have the diverse landscapes. Now we need to convince Hollywood to understand that we have the diverse talent as well. Yeah. So that's kind of our goal is yeah. to really establish these local actors so we don't lose them to L.A. So they can stay here, continue working in this market, and let Hollywood know that you can come over here and we have talent too. Right. We have stunt people. We have actors. We have entertainers. Utilize our local talent. Use the local talents. Absolutely. Actually, cheaper because you don't have to travel them over here. Yeah, right. you know, it's so frustrating when I work on set on a, on a TV show and I see them flying in an actor for one line. <laughs> and I'm telling you, you flew this person in from LA for one or two lines when you have an incredible, talented team of actors and a community that's so strong right here. So we're trying to empower these actors to develop their reels, to film them doing stunts so they can demonstrate to producers, look, I've got the ability, I've got the qualifications, you can cast me. So create a market where our local community of actors can be competitive, mm -hmm. and that's the goal. So that's what we're working towards. All right, Cody, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, I want to talk about Mark a little bit. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about how much money a stunt guy makes. Ooh, <laughs> and right. get people all salivating about that. Okay. I want to have a short demonstration <laughs> All right. Right here in the studio. Okay. Nobody, nobody gets I hurt. I think you're going right. to take the hit, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. All right. you, could be, you could be wrong. You know, you don't know exactly how strong I am. There you, you go. want to throw the punch. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right. Well, you throw the okay, fair is fair. We'll be right back after this break. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. For more than 100 years, American Humane Association has been teaching kids to be kind to animals. Those in our homes, on the farms, on the silver screen, and wildlife conservation caring for the world's vanishing creatures. But we can't do it alone. Visit kindness100.org to find ways to teach kids how they can make a more caring, compassionate, and humane world for all of us. Do you want to be cool like me? If so, watch my show on Tuesdays at 1, called Out of the Comfort Zone. I sang this song to you because I think you either are cool or have the potential to be seriously cool. And I want you to come watch my show, where I bring in experts who talk all about easy strategies to be healthier, happier, build better relationships, and make your life a success. So come sit with the cool kids at Out of the Comfort Zone on Tuesdays at 1. See you there. Hi, I'm Bill Sharp, host of the Asian Review here on Think Tech Hawaii. Join me every Monday afternoon from 5 to 5.30 Hawaii Standard Time for an insightful discussion of contemporary Asian affairs. There's so much to discuss, and the guests that we have are very, very well informed. Just think, we have the upcoming negotiation between uh, President Trump and Kim Jong-un. The possibility of Xi Jinping, the leader of China, remaining in power forever. We'll see. Okay, it. and we go. Two, one. Oh, okay, oh, okay, okay, we're back. We're back, we're back alive. We're back. And I have, I have to, you know, full, full disclosure. They were, they were actually rehearsing during the break. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great, you know. But first, some non-physical stuff. So one is, what do you think of Jackie Chan? You mentioned his name. Is he the kind of guy that will, you know, act while he's hitting and punching, or is he just hitting and punching? He's doing everything. You know, he's one of the greatest uh, uh, stunt martial, martial artists. Yeah? Um, he's, uh, he's done his own stunts. He's done his own acting, everything. Done his directing, done his producing, but he also gets a lot of hurt. You know, he's, uh, uh, if you want Takes to... Takes a lot of chances, yeah. Yeah, at one time, I think going back about maybe about 20-something years, he did a show in, um, 
in, uh, in uh, Budapest, and uh, he actually fell, you know, and uh, ended up in the hospital, you know. And a couple of times he did his own stunts, and he ended up in casts. You know, it's because he wants to do it himself, I mean, which makes it more real and genuine. And, you know, uh, and since then, a lot of people have followed that. You know, a lot of the martial artists try to get into that, what they call uh, cinema fu. Yeah, the what, what? kung fu. You know, the, okay, the, okay. Which, the, which is the Hong, Hong Kong accent. You know, and using a lot of wires. You know, <laughs> so because they're like flying, right? They yeah. do a lot of flying. So it's done with wires, huh? Yeah. You flying. heard it here on Think Tech. Yeah. yeah now you know. Yeah. Wires, and then, uh, and then you know they'll they'll do a, a punch, and instead of normally when you get hit, you go down. They'll do this, and they'll tumble in the air three, four times, and boom, and it looks really. Good on, on cinema, especially for young people. They say, "Wow, that's fantastic! I'm going to do that." Do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in reality, you know, you're not going to do that. You get hit one time, you're just going flat down. Yeah, sure. You see me, so yeah. Well, I, you know, that's that's the amazing thing about movies these days. I got to make this one comment. You see, in the movie, the guy gets shot with 21 bullets. You know, mm -hmm. and next thing you know, he's in the hospital and he's surviving. <laughs> and, and 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 two hours later, he's out on the street pursuing his mission yet again. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, aren't you worried that people who watch will get to feel that they're invincible, just the way the actors are invincible? No. Well, you know, act. Uh, you know, when you get into uh, cinema and films, it's all illusions. <laughs> and when you do uh, choreo uh, choreographing, it's a dance. You know, it's basically a dance. We're just doing it in such a way that you know we can make it look violent, lovely, com comical, whatever way possible. So you know, if you you understand that in there, and coming with the idea that you're doing something fun, you're you're creating an illusion, you're bringing out all your expression, and you're dancing along the way. I mean, yeah, it's fun, you know. So we, we have a lot of fun doing it. You ever break out in a smile while you're doing it? Uh, I it can not, it can not, only in the comedy ones. It, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it happens, you know, because I mean, I've done it sometimes when I'm taking the punch and boom. As soon as my hand turns, I'm already laughing because I know that thing. Uh, the way he did it, man, he said it sucks. <laughs> and I said, okay, cut, man. We got to do it all over again. It reminds me of those wrestling matches, you know, where nobody actually gets hurt, but it all all these people are pounding on each other. They make good. They make good uh, stunt people. I mean, you know, a lot of them, you know, because yeah, well, they're learning about, choreography. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's choreography. So for this choreography, I, I call you in. Forget about the transportation from mm -hmm. L.A. because mm -hmm. we're here. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I ask you to you know, participate in a stunt scenario all day long till we get it right. Mm -hmm. What's the size of the check I have to give you? <laughs> well, it depends if it's in India or not, you know. Okay, um, all right. You know, I mean, uh, all stuff. about what you negotiate. Yeah, well, all, all you know. Negotiable, like yeah. <laughs> right, and you know, the context and the job that you have. I mean, you know, some people only make $5,000 a year, and, and the highest ever paid was paid at almost, I think, was about $250,000 just for a jump from a 22-story 22 building in Toronto down, you know. So, you know, I mean, that's pretty chancy because, you know, you're jumping off, even jumping off, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a three-story building can get you killed. You know, we've had we've had one. I can't remember it was. I think it was done in New York, where he was going on. Uh, he was jumping out of the third floor, uh, third floor, and it happened uh, uh, two different incidents. One of them was that they overinflated the bag, and when he hit the bag, he bounced off and landed on the street. Oh, you know? oh, no, <clears throat> a week later, he died of injuries. Oh, no. yeah. mm -hmm. The other one they had was that um, uh, underinflated when he hit. The bag collapsed and he went right down to the ground. Bam! Down is, you know, has to nobody be checked just it. Right. Yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, stunt work can be really dangerous. You know, like for instance, like uh, Brandon Lee, which is Bruce Lee's son. You know, he was shot with a forty-four a Magnum caliber. You know, but there was something because on set, on set, it was only because someone didn't check the props right. You know, and left a small piece of fragment from it. So when they put the blank in and when they shot, that fragment hit him, and that is what's what's killed him. You see, so, you know... It's a dangerous career. Right, so, you know, the person that, you know, you actually call these guys the stunt riggers, you know. They're the one that rig up everything, and, you know, it's their responsibility. And for somebody doing not doing that, then you put somebody else's life on the line. Normally, when even, even if I have somebody setting up the props for me, you know, I, I go over there and I take a look. I, I do it myself. I check it oh, out. Yeah. I say, man, you know what? I don't want my person getting yeah, hurt. Yeah, really. But you know? that, that leaves the burden on you. I mean, it just seems logically mm -hmm. that... Uh, you're not going to be able to go against the movie company or anything mm. for what happens because you're responsible, you're taking the risk, you're getting paid for the danger. Am I right? Yeah. 
Uh, depending, I, again, everything is negotiable. You know what okay. I mean? I mean, um, there's, there's been stunt people that say, you know, I think I'm going to shift it over to this other guy to do it. <laughs> you know, okay. because, because he's more qualified to land on his head than so me. So you have a, a stunt man and then a stunt stunt man. You could. There's a whole stunt team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got and a whole stunt coordinator team. coordinator mm -hmm. who coordinates the whole choreography mm -hmm. and paints the picture. So how do I make the real? Because, you know, I mean, I'm not going to get a job unless I can show them I'm up to it and the reel is my evidence that I'm up to it. Yeah. What does a stunt reel look like and how do you make it? And well, there's a lot of different elements that, that uh, casting is looking for. They want to see your physicality. They want to see your athleticism. They want to see your ability to take a hit, to take a fall, to throw a punch. So at our class that we're going to be holding this Saturday in Kaneohe, um, Al's going to be chore choreographing different fight sequences, and we're going to be videotaping and providing all of our students with that footage that they can use to promote and to book these gigs. Of course, they're not going to jump in as a stunt person after one class. It's a process, but casting wants to be able to see that they have the physicality, that they can do more than what is expected of a normal actor. Are you going to be watching them for that? Are you going to be watching to see who the skill is, who the talent is? Not, oh, yeah. they'll, they'll show right off the bat. <laughs> All right. Oh, they'll, they'll show right off the right bat. You can tell right away. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so let's, let's ask about Mark. Um, uh, so uh, he's taught you a lot of things over the years. I'm yep. Yes, yeah, seriously, he has too. Yeah. Um, what's his career like these days, and how do, you, uh, how, do you, how do you talk to each other? Well, yeah, we do. And when, when we do fight choreography, a lot of times because of the distance, we're doing it over the telephone. But he'll call me up. He says, Daddy, you know, I'm, oh, this is, you know, I'm on the set, and we're, we're going to work on something. I have an idea. What do you think about it? And he would put me into the frame, and I would go into that, and I said, okay, Mark, you know, that's not going to work. You're going to have to jump off the wall, twist here, and do that. And he says, and even if it's in the hotel, he says, he'll do it right there and then. He says, you mean like this? And I can hear the sound, I say, because oh I'm closing my eyes. I say, yeah, I, I think you got it there. Oh you see what I mean? So we do that, you know. Yeah. We did. Um, you got to have a consultant when you set these, uh, these things up, mm, right? Right, and yeah. And the stunt person. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, when we and I, he and I was working on a film in the Philippines, you know, of course, he was always on hands, you know, and he would, he would tell me, Dad, you know, this, I think, I think this is going to look good. I said, no, Mark, it's not. You see, you got something else in the front of it, and we will change things around. It won't necessarily always go good because, you know, um, um, uh, he, you know, he's very athletic, you know. I mean, at one time, I could do what he could do. You know, but when he tell me he's going to jump off the wall and I'm trying to visualize, I got a 37-year-old guy trying to do that, or maybe a 47, I don't think he's going to be able to do it. You know, so we go with the natural skills and the talents and that, and making it simple enough, but, uh, but a lot of action so that it's believable. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you have, to, oh, you have to have a mental a mental condition, a certain state of mind to do this and not to be afraid, right? Of How course. do you get into that state of mind, Al? <laughs> it's a lot of things. It's like the way I slap my face and just get going on it or, <laughs> or think about something. You know, I, like I say, you have to put yourself... You got to get a reason for fighting. You know, we create the reason. Yeah. You see, you got to feel the reason, mm -hmm. and then it's easier. It's get easier. into the character. Absolutely. Okay, I'm going to ask you guys to get into the character now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what you can do to hurt each other. All right. <laughs> okay. So, well, actually, what you want to see this is this is going to be a group project. Uh, okay. Uh, so we're going to be I'm, I'm the sound too. effects. Yeah, you're going to be okay. On sound. Uh, okay. So, so actually, you know, one of the very first things that we show is like, you know, how to take a slap. Okay, because you notice that. If I'm going to slap him here, you see, it's going to go across. Let me see right there. That looks good right there. So we'll turn it right here so that he can see, right? So you see the spacing right here. So when you go here, oh, wow, I didn't even slap. You got to try it. Sound guy's on it. Right? So Sound I'm, guys not, on I'm it. actually far away, but when I begin to hit him, I'm going to go, bam, that way. You see, Ooh. and he reacts to it. You see what I mean? Even, even from the punch, you know, I'm going to go right here. I said, you know, he's looking at me, and I said, what are you talking about? You hit him, right? There you go, you see? So, you know, it's all distance, you know, it's just got, he's just got that motion, you know? And, uh, of course, you know, he's playing it along, so he's putting this facial expression on, too, you know? So, and then um, to the back of my head, the way he moves around, that carries the character, and it brings it up a little bit more town. Naturally, when you put the sounds in, you know, it brings it alive. Yeah. Otherwise, it will be silent film. Yeah. <laughs> should we, should we try a hit for you? No, no, it's I'm okay. I'm ready to do sound effects. <laughs> How are you feeling, Cody? Everything all right? God, oh, my gosh. It's, <laughs> he, his touch is so, so small. What an actor. What an actor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, so let's talk about the program you have coming up so everybody knows how to reach you how to reach the program and how to get down there and participate. Absolutely. So we are holding the class this Saturday 
For those of you who'd like to get further information, you can visit my website at CodyEasterbrook.com, www.CodyEasterbrook.com, right there. And uh, click that contact link and you can sign up for the class or get further information. And it's going to be an ongoing course, so if you can't join us for this Saturday, then be sure to drop us a line and we'll keep everyone posted about the ongoing courses and, and workshops that we're going to have with Sifu Al because it's, it's something that our acting community needs to, to practice, to engage in, to get better at, and it's going to create a uh, level of competitive, um, com it's going to create a level where they can be competitive. <laughs> Let me say it that way. <laughs> so Al, how much of that do you agree with? All. <laughs> all, all, all. Okay. okay, before we close here, I want you to give me your best shot right there. Really? Yeah. Okay, here go. And you make sure you move now. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. And oh! There we go. Oh, oh. All right. <laughs> Thanks very much, Al, Cody. Great to be back. Hey, great to be all right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>